All right, working with Azure Functions, benchmarking the code. OK, so at this point, we've created some code in Visual Studio code, and uh, we've, we've created a Python function in Visual Studio code. We've deployed it using Visual Studio code, and now we want to benchmark it. Um, so let's head over to our deployment screen. The last thing that we saw, it showed that the deployment was complete. And it gives us a couple of buttons. We can view the output, which shows us something similar to what you're seeing here of how it was deployed. Uh, but there's this button here for streaming the logs. If we click that, it will open up a browser window uh, and it will pop up the live metrics view of that function. Um, takes a few seconds to connect into it, but once it's connected, um, you should start seeing the live queries coming into it. Um, now, in order to test this out, that it's actually working, what we'll do is we'll open up a new window, we we'll go to the portal, and we'll navigate over to the function that we just deployed. I'm going to go to my function apps, and this is the one, QWER. Uh, let's um, look at its, what we want to do is we want to look at its function. So there was a one function here only, HTTP trigger. If there were more, they would have showed up there. I can click into the code view and I can look at its code to see uh, and confirm that that's actually what I deployed um, here. That looks pretty familiar. Now, if you look at it, it's expecting this name parameter, which we'll need to provide um, on the URL or in the post body. So we're just going to use the URL for now. Let's copy this and I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to paste that in there and add the name parameter name equals foobar, and sure enough, that's showing that. If we look at the live metrics, um, nothing really shows up here, so let's reload this a couple of times. And we should start seeing a little bit of a blip coming up. There it is. So that's actually my function. Um, now, if I want to benchmark it, um, actually, before we benchmark it, what I want to do is um, I can see that it's got three servers online. So one of the things I'd like to do is I'd like to maybe uh, lock it down so that it doesn't scale, uh, auto scale right now. So let's see what we can do uh, about that. If we look at um, we look at the scale out settings, uh, we can set the maximum. So right now it's set to 200. So let's just set the maximum to one. Okay. So this will this will essentially um, um, prevent it from scaling out. So this will keep it uh, a scale of one. Uh, there will not be more than one server. If we look at our live metrics, uh, at some point that this three servers online should drop down to one. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that here, um, even though three servers are available here to ex accept the load, um, you're not being charged for them. These kind, they're just kind of ready to go. Um, so it looks like, uh, something happened here. I've got this four servers. Uh, it might be way of uh, Azure expanding and contracting here. Um, but let's actually put some load on it and we should see which one of these servers is starting to receive um, the, the the load. So for load testing, I use Apache Benchmark, AB, uh, which is one of my favorite tools. I can give it the number of uh, calls to make and I can give it a concurrency level. So let's start with a concurrency of five. And we'll use that URL that we just pasted. And let's let it run for a thousand times. And so what's going to happen here um, is that it's repeatedly making call after call. And if we look at the live metrics, we should see that here um, we've, you can see here the CPU is has only increased on one server. It's at 57%. Um, and it's, um, bumping up and down uh, in terms of the requests. And here we can see that it's uh, between 20 and 40 milliseconds. Um, now, if we go back to our benchmark screen, um, so I've seen this before. Sometimes TCP sockets, um, they, they start seeing delays. So let's say there's one connection that's hanging out of those five and there's some delay or something like that. Um, well, it looks like APR, Pull set pull timeout specified as expired. So it died after 664 requests. Um, somehow there's a timeout. Um, 
And uh, well, so what this tells us is that uh, with one server, a concurrency of five is not uh, at the rate that uh, the benchmark was running against. It wasn't working very well. So let's actually reduce um, our concurrency. Let's let's start with level one and we'll ramp up from there. So here it's going to do one connection at a time, and I don't suspect this to have any problems. Here our request rate is between 20 and 40 mil, uh, requests per second. It seems too soon. OK, yeah, uh, it's still going. There'll be a timeout and then it will resume again. That's the pattern I've seen in the past. Here we can see it's got one server online. OK, finally, all the other servers that it was previously utilizing, the, those are no longer available to it. OK, so with one server. You're going to see this kind of behavior. It's not uh, going to scale very well, but if we go back and. We modify our scale unit to allow it to go up to, let's say. Two servers. Right, actually, let's refresh this and move that to two. And. Now we're going to hit save. What we should see is that now. At some point, this uh, one server online is going to become two. And again, we had this timeout after just 162 requests. Let's run this thing again. And this time, we should see is uh, so now we've got two servers online, and our requests are coming back in again between 20 and 30 requests. Oh, looks like it's climbing up a little. Um, but this time we don't see a drop off the way it did the first time and we can see. Is pretty consistent between 10 and 20 milliseconds. Uh, again, this is one connection at a time rapidly being sent over and over again, so it'll take uh, it'll take some time. Um, but there are two servers, so um, you know, while one is recovering, the other one is, is being pushed uh, and utilized. So it looks like my, my test has ended. Um, or it's running into another timeout. It got further this time. So some, uh, you know, this <laughs> when you're benchmarking, you you'll see that uh, you always have some network glitch that occurs. Okay, so this one expired after just 944. So I'm just going to open it up. Um, I'm going to open up the, the number of uh, scale out. I'm just going to allow this to go up to 20. Okay, and I'm going to hit save. And you can see like that's only 10% of the way that it can scale up. All right, so now it's allowed to do up to 20 and already I've got three servers uh, anticipating my load. So I'm going to run this again. Uh, let's see how far we get this time. Hundred, two hundred requests. We've got four servers online. And Apache benchmark is, um, you know, it's unyielding, so it it keeps pushing on the server. Um, we've got close to a ten millisecond response time, which is actually pretty good. Uh, so we're still with only four servers. I think that's going to go and complete. OK, so we finished and looks like we hit 25 requests per second um, with the longest query taking 1.2 uh, seconds. Let's uh, up our benchmark and, in, and and move this back up to five. Let's run that. So now it's making five parallel connections. Um, and this is going much faster and we should see is that uh, um, our tests are coming back in still in the around the 10 millisecond range about maybe 12 milliseconds and that finished um, looks like this one we were able to do 67 queries our requests per second let's bump that up a little bit more instead of five connections let's do 50 uh, let that run and we can see that that's indeed going much faster there is a little bit of a delay still 
Um, here, we anticipate we expected almost between 200 to 300 requests per second. Um, and here, our 99, uh, so our uh, request per second is 61. It looks like it's similar to what we saw last time, 67, 61. Um, maybe this just wasn't sustained for a long enough period of time. But I can keep going. Let's say I do 500 uh, parallel requests. Um, and got to 900 pretty quick. We can see we peaked at 400 requests per second. Our duration actually jumped up to maybe 600 milliseconds, still sub second, but a lot slower. Um, and we can see that uh, we were hitting five servers online. So what this basically will tell you is that, um, well, let's see what this last delay is. Okay, so last delay was about 33 seconds. Um, still, we were able to hit um, our requests per second. Oh, 28. It's not so good. Let's try that again. Yeah, so somehow, oh, okay, so this one was better, 242 requests per second. I've actually seen this go up to about uh, close to 600, about 580. So the point is, is that um, the, the server itself responds and it scales fairly well. Um, in this case, I've got six servers online and I, wait, and I was no way near the 20 that I set my upper limit to. And as we know that the upper limit can actually be set up to um, 200. Um, so this should give you a little bit of an idea of how uh, benchmarking can be done and how to debug it. Um, what we didn't cover is if you had exceptions and how to look into that. Um, on the right hand side, we're seeing some sample telemetry, but you can dig into it. And actually, if you click on view and logs, you can actually go and find exceptions and other details on the stack trace. That, that one is a demo we should probably do on KQL. 